Hey everybody, Silver back here, and today we have the Ruger LCP2 380. Um, I know you all know a little bit about these, he's been out for a while, so I'm not going to go into all the little boring details. I mean, they might be a little fascinating to you, but all the details about this uh, specific firearm. Um, I received this, it's not mine, uh, I received this from somebody uh, who's saying that they're having an issue with the firearm. Now this is going to be my first time loading it up or trying anything with this firearm. Uh, so he's having issues, uh, feeding issues, and it's not going into battery all the way. So we're going to go ahead, pop this magazine in, and see what happens. Alright? So load it oh here we go problem right there so it's not going all the way into battery i can't force it into battery because it looks like the bullet's still on an angle like it's not traveling up the feed ramp properly so let's eject the magazine all right so now we got it in there i don't know if you can see that see it in there it's all the way in. Looks like it's all the way in the barrel. So let's try to, uh... nope. Now it's like the ejector is getting in the way and keeping it from going all the way into battery. So let's see if we can, I still can't even force it into battery. You know, sometimes you give it a good whack on the butt, <laughs> good whack on the back and uh, they go into battery. But this one is still not going into battery. Something is keeping this from going into battery. So what I'm going to do now, even though I'm all dressed up and ready to shoot, uh, is I'm going to have to take this inside. Um, hopefully I can get all this rusting off of here. I know this gun's been around for a little bit, but uh, it's not that old. So <clears throat> I'm going to break it down. I'm going to clean it all up real good. Looks like I can see a little bit of a problem right back here. Yeah, this ejector is not moving freely. Something jamming it up back here. I don't know if y'all can see that in there. A little rusty piece. So let's go see if we can get this thing cleaned out and get it working. All right. We'll be back with you as soon as we got this sucker working. All right, guys, uh, everybody. Um, my assessment so far seems to be right. Uh, you see the extractor here, look at the amount of rust. I just sprayed some of my G96 cleaner on there uh, and there's a lot of rust coming out of there. So I'm gonna let this soak for a little while. I mean, I'm finally kind of getting it, kind of getting it to move freely. Um, let's see if I can show you it moving. not moving you guys around so much but I'm only working with one hand here see it's moving a little bit there so we're gonna let it soak up and try to clean that oil out of there till I can move it with just my finger because it should move with just my finger I was playing with my Taurus now my Taurus moves with just my finger no problem I can push it right here and it moves um, so that shouldn't be so tight like it is so we're just gonna let it soak up a little bit uh, clean this thing up in the meantime um, try to clean this feed ramp up and clean the barrel up and clean up the rest of the inside of this guy and see what happens so stay tuned all right everybody I got the extractor out as you can see it is quite rusty in there had a little bit of a hard time getting that sucker out of there but letting it soak in the G96 freed up the uh, rust and the spring and everything enough for me able to pull it back enough to get through that you see that tiny little hole right there once you hold on to that hole and you pull it back and line it up with this hole here then this extractor just falls right out and then you can pull the spring and the plunger out as well so I got that all out of there got the firing pin out of there um, 
So now I'm just going to clean up this whole slide, all the internals really well, and then put this sucker back together and take it back outside and see how she runs. Okay, everybody, day two. Let's see if the fruits of my labor have paid off. So I was able to free up the extractor. Uh, I was able to get it out of there. I soaked it, as you've seen, uh, and I said before that I soaked it with the G96 approximately about an hour, maybe hour and a half, and I finally got it free enough to pull the extractor out, um, clean everything up, lube it up, put it all back together, and get rid of all the rust. So, got a magazine here. All right cycled it's all the way in it's all the way in battery uh let's give it a shot and see if it actually fires oh look at that right on the target too <laughs> what do you know it works all right let's load up a couple more magazines uh, well, this is the only magazine I have with it, so I'm going to load this up a couple more times. There's a lot of oil still coming out of this thing. Uh, I tried to wipe it down, but everything's so small and tight in there, it was really hard to get all the oil out. But uh, I got it running, so let's shoot some more and see what happens. All right, number two. <clears throat> so let's see if it goes back into battery. It cycled real well. Um, so let's see if it continues to work. All right, send battery. No need to do that, but I did it anyway. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, it continues to run and cycle just fine. I think I fixed the problem. There was so much rust in there. I mean, you can still see a little bit of rusty oil coming out of here so what I'll probably do is I'll probably take it apart again one more time and run some more G96 through there clean it up uh, a lot of people have suggested that I get this Cerakoted which would help uh, deter the rust and stop it from rusting um, this is not my firearm however uh, but I will suggest it to who owns it and let them know, hey man, I know somebody who can Cerakote it for them and uh, keep this thing running good for a long time and hopefully it'll stay rust free. But uh, you know, if you keep it lubed up well enough, uh, that will keep it from rusting, uh, hopefully. <laughs> As they say, it protects it or whatever. But let's uh, load up another magazine and give her another run. Still continuing to go into battery just fine. I think I'm learning the sights on this gun. I'm starting to hit the target a little bit more. Ooh. All right, look at that. Failure to extract at least fast enough anyway. So I will have to pull this out again and clean it up again. Um, so let's try another go around and see what happens. She didn't lock back either like she was supposed to. Alright, here we go. Yes, it's empty. Failure to lock back. Okay. So we're still having a few issues with it. I mean, it could be because it's working out all the oil. I did it. There's still, like I said, there's still a lot of oil in there. I don't know if you can see all that coming out of the trigger, coming out of the bottom of the slide, but there is a lot of oil. It's all over the magazine. So uh, we'll load up a few more. We'll just keep shooting it and seeing if it uh, continues to have any issues or gets better. Try to shake some of the oil out, yeah. <laughs> All right. 
that time everything went as planned as it should locked back everything cycled so let's see let's give it another go all right so I have a 50 pack I probably got see there's one two three four five six seven eight eight rounds left other than the six that are in here so Cycle fine, lock back again. I guess we just gotta work it out a little bit, but I will go ahead and take this apart again and give it another cleaning because it is bugs. Come on, bug, go away. I don't know what you are or where you come from. <laughs> uh, but I, it is starting to push out a little bit more rust. So um, hopefully this will break up whatever's left in there and get the rest of it out and I can get it clean on this uh, last go to. So, all right, let's load up this last magazine and uh, see what we got. All right. Six more rounds, one more magazine. It's easier to do that than hit the slide release. <laughs> this thing is quite oily, but it's starting to dry out a little bit. trigger gets pretty light as you start using it. Ooh, something biting me. Probably a damn horsefly. But uh, there we go. Getting better. Alright, last two rounds. Just gonna shoot them. Just to shoot them. Just to say I cleared the whole box. <laughs> like it's supposed to act so looks like I solved the problem fixed the problem and uh, hopefully she'll continue to run okay so that was my fix of the Ruger LCP2 uh, extractor problem I did not know that that was the issue when I first was given the uh, gun to try to fix it um, so but I did find out as you seen in the beginning of this video that was the first time I'd ever done anything with this uh, what the problem might be and it seems like that was the problem because now it's working just fine it's cycling fine it's going into battery everything's doing what's supposed to do you seen I had a couple of lockbacks one uh, failure to extract a hundred percent I mean it was still pulled out it wasn't stuck in the extractor or anything it just didn't eject as quick as it probably should have uh, so uh, that was that but then the last few magazines it locked back everything cycled well so maybe it's just the amount of oil I got in here is just a could have caused that issue as well so I will go ahead and finish cleaning the rust out of this and uh, get it back together and hopefully she'll keep running for a long time. So that's everything I got. It was fun. I enjoyed this. I think I'd like to do some more stuff like this for sure. I do have another firearm in the house from the same person. Um, damn horse flies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you just seen that sucker. He, he would have bit me. It would have been a uh, uh, pretty painful. Those things bite pretty hard. Uh, I do have another firearm in the house from the same person. It is a DB9 Diamondback DB9 nine millimeter uh, pistol. Um, not sure what's wrong with that one. Haven't done anything with that yet. I just looked at it when he gave it to me, and that's where I'm at so far with that. So that'll be another video coming up soon. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Hopefully I helped anybody out there who's been having a problem with their LCP um, as well. Uh, check it. Check your, your extractor right here. You can see where the plunger is in there. And if you see any rust in there, 
it's time to take it apart and clean it that's for sure uh, it's fairly easy to break this slide down and clean the slide uh, to get the extractor out so there's plenty of videos out there about how to take them apart and that's what I did I watched the video and it showed me how to take it apart so um, I didn't show any of that on this video because I don't know how you know YouTube and their stuff is with that I don't know if that would be considered like manufacturing but uh, <laughs> there you have it thanks everybody have fun